Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Aditya Gupta. Uh, today I have the uh, to have today I have the opportunity to be with uh, Dr. Mohsen. He's my senior. Uh, we both uh, did our uh, MD in pediatrics from Ames, New Delhi, and we are similar in the such a way that he actually he also got All India Rank 17 in Ames PG just one year prior to me in May 2017 exam, and I got the All India Rank 17 in May 2018. And now he's currently pursuing his DM in uh, cardiology again from Ames Delhi, and I'm pursuing my DM in pediatric oncology. So, but while we are, both are uh, double aims zone in the fact that we are doing our MD and DM from Ames, uh, we are like I did my undergraduate also from Ames Delhi, while uh, Dr. Mohsen he did his MBBS from GMC Srinagar. So, in this video, we wanted to highlight how similar and maybe a bit different our journeys as far as MBBS is concerned were. And this is especially for every medical student who is watching it from a someone who's not in a central institute to tell you that it is not the end of the road if you did not get an AIMS during your undergraduate times. There are you can get it through your UPG, you can then again you do your DM from the same AIMS again. And what matters more is the basic clinical understanding, what matters more is the standard textbooks and your uh, reading during your first and second year MBBS and how MBBS is although maybe a bit different from let's say Ames versus another college in many respects it's similar so hi Dr. Mohsen how are you? Hello Aditya how are you and hi viewers uh -huh. so I'm yeah. doing good I'm doing good yeah so uh, I'll begin with first asking ki, uh, in your first year well I'll begin my my experience uh, I, I absolutely like, you know, uh, Ames with Delhi at least has a really good anatomy, physio and biochemistry. I mean, I'm absolutely love my teachers. Uh, they were really good teachers. They used to teach really well. Along with that, Ames Delhi has a lot of good facilities. If we talk about dissection hall, ki baat kare, so we used to have not more than eight students per dissection uh, table, per cadaver. So what was the situation like in GMC Srinagar? Uh, uh, in my first year in GMC Srinagar, the situation was uh, in a way uh, less as good as uh, obviously at Ames, but uh, if you talk of dissection halls, we had a, a good dissection hall with uh, like quite a number of uh, cadaver for uh, dissection and learning anatomy, but not eight, our batch would be at least 15 to 20 people per cadaver. And uh, at least we were lucky, our batch was lucky, we had some of the fresh, uh, fresh bodies that we could learn anatomy from. And um, that's at 15, 20 people per cadaver. How the teachers as far as anatomy were con as concerned? Uh, obviously, it's always a mix of some very good teachers and some not so good teachers. But uh, luckily, I was from a batch that we had uh, some uh, fine uh, teachers who taught us anatomy, like coming to the dissection all daily, they would teach. And uh, what I used to personally follow, look at the Macmillan, the dissection book beforehand. So I knew that tomorrow I'm going to have a dissection class of maybe gluteal muscles. I would come prepared. So that I would look for things rather than someone showing me the things like this is the structure. So, yeah. Yeah. So uh, uh, I had a similar experience as far as Ames is concerned. The teachers were a mix of good and bad, but more good rather than bad. They were probably not, I'll say actually an acting almost all, everyone was a good teacher. And uh, at the same point of time, I'll say that just like uh, in his college, Ames also has a very good culture of uh, anatomy. Teachers used to come to the dissection hall, tell you everything. And like Dr. Mohsen said that if you're prepared beforehand, you'll have a much better learning experience. Uh, how was the physio and biochemistry? I think it was similar. Uh, more or less similar, but uh, physiology was not as good as anatomy and biochemistry. Okay. So in my first year, anatomy was good. The faculty was like uh, more active in teaching students and in biochemistry as well. But uh, physio was a little, a little behind the other two subjects. But more or less, uh, it would do the job. But luckily, like from the physiology department, one of our professors, he introduced me in the first year. In fact, within the first few months of joining to Kaplan Medical. Like, and those notes, Kaplan notes of physiology and biochemistry helped me a lot in my first year MBBS. And he was the person who introduced to me that uh, those material to me. So, yeah, so we'll come on that again. So, yeah, so. What I'm trying to say, like, as Dr. Mohsen is pointing out, as far as first year is concerned, even if you're from a good state medical college, like he's uh, from GMC uh, Srinagar, which is the best state medical college as far as uh, Jammu and Kashmir is concerned, uh, a good state medical college in general has good teachers that will ensure that your first year teaching is good. Maybe some mixed bag, some bad apples, some in some particular, maybe like in his case, it was physiology. Even in Ames, I'll say that certain teachers in physiology were probably were not that much up to the mark. 
but overall the first year experience is good if you are doing it from a, any good state medical college as well i may not be able to comment upon the other colleges but what i wanted to highlight even if you are getting a state medical college which is probably one of the more reputed colleges of the state your learning in first year is not going to hamper what is more important is where you decide to learn from where you decide to uh, read from so dr mohsen where did you read from in uh, anatomy physiology and biochemistry Uh, Dr. Mohsen, I think the video is stopped in between. Yeah, yeah, nothing. Uh, uh, where did you read your anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry from? That's why. Uh, anatomy, most of the stuff from B.D. Chaurasia, but uh, some areas from uh, the uh, Keith Elmore textbook of anatomy. Okay. And uh, for uh, neuroanatomy, Snell's anatomy, I used to like read, but that was at that point of time a little <laughs> above my comprehension. But then later on. I read neuroanatomy, in fact, most of it in my pre-final MBBS while I was uh, like uh, going to clinical neurology. posting and seeing neurology patients. Mm -hmm. That was the time when I actually realized the importance of neuroanatomy. I learned it later on. But in my first year, mostly and, uh, the uh, and most of it from Kaplan Medical Notes. Physiology, Guyton. I didn't read Genong at that time. I read Genong later on in my MBBS. But at first year, Guyton and Hall for physiology, uh, Kaplan medical notes for biochemistry. They're awesome, including their video lectures by Sam Turco, especially that part of biochemistry. And third, uh, the anatomy, as I told you. So uh, what I'll ask you is that what you're talking right now is the importance of, you know, having a good video lectures, which are actually free. Topic, yeah. It's considered. So Kaplan medical has really good physiology and biochemistry lectures. In fact, in fact, three, three, uh, three excellent sources would be one Kaplan medical, the second Najib's lectures, excellent anatomy videos freely available on YouTube. Yeah. Are awesome. Like that's actually one of the better resources for that's anatomy. It. This is what I wanted free to of cost. Actually. So, and I'll ask you, since you are the, probably the first, you are the only one who has actually cracked names from your college, I guess. Uh, from uh, in a very long period of time, if I'm not wrong, someone junior just joined right now, but I think you were the only one who had cracked names from a very long time. Uh, do you think that uh, your compatriots did something different or did they did different textbooks? I, um, I didn't completely get you, maybe because I'm, of a video glitch. I'm saying that, uh, like, uh, as compared to your compatriots, you did something different. Do you think? These captain, yeah, you in, uh, yeah. Captain sure. Sure. basically the material, yes, the material that Kaplan Medical provides, especially of the basic sciences, mm -hmm. the first year and the second year subject, that's actually very good. So in a way, like you integrate clinical information into basic sciences, then Kaplan Medical Notes or such resources, their video lectures, that's the way to go for. For example, even second year pharmacol pharmacology lectures. So they are way better than any Indian standard textbook. So that is a little different. I used to almost, uh, I could quote them verbatim at that point of time. Hmm. Like almost the videos, their audios, they would be like, I would have memorized exactly. them. And uh, yeah. do you think your compatriots did not do them or stuck to some other textbooks? Uh, there was a notion probably with them that it's meant for USMLE and it's not meant for like, you know, our classic Indian uh, teach, hmm. but that's not true. The resources are excellent. They can help you in any exam. Even I watch some of them, some of those videos today. During your DM. While I'm doing DM in cardiology. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'll agree with you. So basically. No, I read, I, 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 I read portions of lipid metabolism while I was preparing for DM cardiology from that Kaplan biochemistry first year, you know. So the, we do not, we are not promoting Kaplan here, but we are trying to but highlight yeah. US resources, uh, the USMLE material. A lot of us have this notion that it's just for USMLE. While the fact is, since the exam USMLE has been clinical for a very long period of time, the resources are right. still much more conceptual as far as the clinical understanding is concerned. And in his college also, I'm sure biochemistry means Satya Narayan padte honge, physio mein kai log. Yes, exactly. Yes, yes, and, yes. It, it used uh, to happen. Yeah, and you know, uh, pharma mein sirf KDT padte honge. But right. if rather than if you want to read these resources, I'm not saying they are bad books actually, but do keep in mind that if you use USMLE resources, your understanding would be better. And probably that is the reason I think that is the reason you are the first one who has had cracked AIMS, Fiji and gotten into AIMS, Delhi. 
for your post exactly you have to do something different you know to reach a place where just 2% of our mbbs graduates reach so you have to do what those 2% people are doing yeah so i mean yes so i, I i'll say that although we our colleges might be different uh, in, as far as uh, where i like the location is concerned some she is from she is from srinagar actually i think srinagar probably is a prettier city than delhi but uh, <coughs> the resources the teachers probably were maybe a bit better as aims delhi uh, especially like he saying that physiology teachers are probably not up to the mark and the second year teachers were probably not that much up to the mark and aims yeah, I, i mean i absolutely love the teaching at aims delhi at course in india but uh, the fact that we both really use similar resources uh resulted in us getting exactly the similar rank and why aims okay. only tend to get good ranks in aims pg entrance examination is because the clinical understanding of the subject is better in these usmle books so irrespective of the fact whether you did your undergraduate from aims delhi like me or you did it from a state college or uh, uh, like dr mohsen at uh, who did his undergraduation from uh, gmc shrinagar uh if the resources are to use and one thing that we are definitely highlighting right now is probably kaplan but other usmle resources as well be it your uh, you know pathuma videos be it, like he said dr najib's videos aklan's and atmi and uh, these are good golgen golgen first step in this uh, pathology yeah. pathu pathology these are good resources which any one of you can use irrespective of where you are and they are going to help you become a better you know a uh, better student better doctor and a uh, eventually help you in cracking your aims pg and most of the material is free of cost yes most of all it's mostly free of cost and you know just because you couldn't clear or just because you couldn't uh, crack aims in the P- in ug it's i agree it's very tough a lot of luck is also involved uh, but that does not mean that you have to stop you can just like dr mohsen crack aims pg and then again dms so i just want to highlight this right now that he actually is probably the only person who has got an all india rank 1 in all the three dm entrances beat neat ss beat aims uh, or pgi and uh, but the basics for that has always been same like he said even right now for lipid metabolism he did kaplan notes so your basics have to be strong and for making your basics strong it doesn't matter whether you are from aims delhi or whether from gmc chandigarh what matters is what do you study and it's better if you uh, like uh, i think i'm uh, if you want to highlight and it's beyond it's it's beyond the entrance exam point of view like as a clinician it will be better if you are yeah. if you are pure in your understanding right so while evaluating patients you have a holistic idea right and that is possible from such books if you read those one liner books from indian authors like those classic review books mm-hmm. you won't have that context of a question you will just know the answer to that question but not the context of that question or the bigger picture behind that question so that is something uh, people have to focus on instead of just mugging up the one one liners yeah so in that scenario i'll say that we have been while while we did our undergraduate from ra- rather radically different colleges but our approach was very similar which resulted in a exactly the same rank actually and yes uh, uh, us pursuing both our pg and dm i mean i'm i'm i'll say that even for dm entrances not just pg entrances our, your understanding of basic mbbs concepts is important beat cardiology where he was reading lipid metabolism or beat uh, oncology where i was reading about uh, the pathogenesis of retinoblastoma again from robins so uh, uh, your basic understanding will be important and for that you have to refer to a standard textbooks and b if you have to go for a review book it's better to go for a uh, review books from the usmle point of view because they are more like i said uh, like uh, even i'll have kept on saying they are more clinical based they will help you become a better clinician and if you don't read these standard books it will be a big miss like you won't be able to read them later on in life see now i don't have the option of reading robins i don't have the option of reading maybe harrison again so the only time when you have for reading harrison or robins is your undergraduate else you will you won't be able to read them and you'll miss that big portion yeah so uh what we wanted to highlight through this video essentially was that although we come from different background and different places we right now are exactly similar place we both are pursuing our dm we both are did our undergrad uh, post graduation from exactly the same same department as well pediatrics and uh, <coughs> what matters you during your undergraduation is more than your college your own efforts and your own textbooks that you read and your own will i think on will dr mohsen will i would like to highlight the story of his like you know how seniors and people decided i really love that story yeah actually uh, see uh, one of my bright seniors like he was, he was my senior even during our 10th standard so he was a brilliant st- student always a position holder you know i once told him that he should actually attempt for a names pg entrance 
and that time it i think it would cost 1000 the form he said it's just a waste of 1000 it's like not meant for us but <laughs> the the point of uh, highlighting this fact is that no matter which college you're from what city you're from you're doing mbbs from india you're doing mbbs outside india but the resources are the same even our iqs they are not markedly different our iqs are the same our resources are the same it's just the will it's just your grit your uh, you know perseverance that is what is important and to be in that top institute you need to have a top level of passion or top level of grit to be here yeah that's more important actually so more imp- more importantly than you know doing your and in fact an advantage that you, that you would have at aims is that you know all of your seniors would be getting selected for pg at aims or super specialization team so you have access to those people you know people around you who are just like you are doing it so that is what is easy for you i i really exactly. yeah so what dr mohsin has highlighted and I, even i would probably say the similar thing is that when he went to a senior he the senior said it's a waste of 1000 rupees versus when i go to my senior when i went to my senior for advice he was like pehli baar mein nikal niklega kyun nahi niklega do this is this and you will be able to yeah. that mental barrier that as of aims cracking aims again in pg is a tough thing was never there i always saw aims sonians again cracking aims pg uh, doing their post graduation being my residents teaching me for me the mental barrier was never there ki aims pg nahi nikalne wali which is which is not a real barrier by the way it's a mental barrier and sometimes it's inculcated in the college itself like it was inculcated in dr mohsen's case exactly and then once i uh, got selected uh, the other uh, some other student uh, got selected in the very next batch yeah so basically wherever you are from whatever college you are from take that barrier out of your mind start preparing for whichever institute you want to enter exactly so i uh, more than again more than preparation i'll say use good resources and exactly who uh, that statement from three idiots is sort of cheesy i'll say chase excellence don't chase success but it is very valid if you do your uh, and basic understanding and you chase that good clinical understanding and that excellence in the clinical understanding the success in the form of whatever you desire be it usmle be it pg entrance or even if you want to clear your upsc or any other examination that will follow yeah so on this note we'll end and hopefully this has cleared a lot of doubts that okay it's not like ki your ug is the end of the road you we can you can literally be at the same level during your post graduation and your dm and uh, what and in fact uh, uh, what i would like to add is that uh, there's a, the second part that's the clinical part of the uh, like mbbs and you might have a good exposure in a good state medical college which is high input or high inflow center where you may be in a medicine ward you'll be seeing hundreds and uh, like hundreds of patients in a single ward mm-hmm. so if, if you're an intern there or if you're a final year mbbs student you will have enough exposure to all the clinical cases so you'll see every variety of cases in every good state medical college provided you take out that barrier out of out of the mind you go prepared you read standard books you approach patients well you approach your faculty there that you're interested in study they will of course teach you and then um, of course if your resources are good if you are well interested it won't make a big difference then in the end make any difference in the end exactly from our uh, stories and everything so on <coughs> i'm sorry uh, so on that note we'll end uh, hopefully uh, a lot of you might have that uh, at least we are hopeful that we have broken that barrier at least we are hopeful that exactly. we have cited good resources for you to study your mbbs form and uh, hopefully this video might inspire some of you to prepare better for your examination to prepare better in just for being a better clinician uh, on the I, on the last note i'll just say that dr mohsen also has a youtube channel uh, be f- feel free to subscribe to him he also posts really good videos uh, especially related to cardiology and uh, again for neat pg and new new uh, neat pg and uh, dm entrance uh, uh, courses uh, you can uh, subscribe to him and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video so thank you and have a nice day by Dr. Mosley.